people aren't interested. They say it's too expensive or they're not taking the right kind of action and taking that next step. Whether you're struggling with getting people to see what you're offering or for the closing the sale, this video will be for you. I want to share with you how to get more people to have a look, whether you're promoting a business opportunity, product or service, and how to get on <laughs> or how to really overcome those objections and maybe prevent them. How because the objections aren't really the problems in the beginning. You have to do quite a few steps before that comes, before at the beginning of the entire process. The objections usually aren't the problem. So if you're doing it wrong, no matter how hard you try, it's not gonna work. So I wanna share with you tips, how to get more views and how to get more yeses. But before we get into that, I wanna introduce myself first for everyone who will see me for the first time. My name is Lenka Katsala from growwithlenka.com, helping you hit your online breakthrough. In my videos, I talk about online businesses, online marketing, social media, how to make money online, how to become the next online star, earn passive income, and complete lifestyle, lifestyle transformation. So if those are the topics you are interested in, don't forget to follow me and turn on the notifications. Hello, Gabriel, and everyone that is jumping on live, let me know in the comments, are you watching live or are you watching replay and how long you have been in the industry, how long you've been building your business. And let me know, do you struggle more with getting people to have a look at what you offer, whether it's a business opportunity, it's product and service, or it's that closing part, it's overcoming those objections. Because as I said, usually the objections aren't the main problem. So first, before, even whether you're new or already building your business for quite some time, offline, online, before you approach a person, you need to do quite a few steps. First, that person has to believe you can help them. So you need to build up some kind of authority become the expert on that problem or person that that prospect, that customer can relate to you and believe you can actually help them. Hello, Barb. So what you do, how to do that, the main way always is show, be, like be there, show up. Uh, provide content for that person. What I personally like, it's more like a pro tip, is really with your content already overcome those objections. So when you know what people are actually objecting about, whether it's product or it's opportunity, you can in your content already overcome those objections. You can educate your audience. You can explain a lot of things that maybe they will see again in the information you'll be sending out to them, but they will see it again. And you already have that expertise and, and better position because you have already explained that to the person. What helps a lot are stories, are testimonials. Because people, when they see that someone already has overcome their problem, you know, it can be anything. It, it can be, I don't have money to start a business. I am too busy. I already have two jobs. I have kids at home. Uh, anything that that person is struggling with. If you show them an example of someone who has already overcame that, that helps you a lot when that objection comes up because you can always say, you know, look at this person. Hello, Gareth. Yeah, Gareth. Already eight years, five years in the first company, three years in the current one. Great one. Hello, Aniska, South Africa here. <laughs> Welcome, girl. So that's one thing. The same with products. If you have objections, maybe that it's too expensive product, you need to explain to them the value, maybe even before you send them the information. If, if you have in your content something where you mention the benefits and you explain the product, uh, the, the price, let's say, I have my water bottle. If I explain to them 
how the price is compared to what they, let's say, buy with every single day uh, plastic bottles with water, that's something they can understand. So, you know, when I, when this filters, this actually is bought with a filter and then you change only the filter. It's for any source of water, tap water, or any source actually even outside, you can just filter it and 99.9% .9 of nasties are, are out. So, you know, when people ask about the price and they don't understand why it costs, the amount that it costs, what I can do is I can tell them that this filters 455 bottles, which is this and that amount based on the country where they live in. So they understand that if they bought this many plastic bottles, which is so much plastic waste, another benefit, and they know how much the bottle of filtered water of this is, and you, you compare the price, that's something they can actually understand. So you can do that very easily already in your content in advance so people can understand. With whatever that you're offering, it can be, it can be even with service or uh, you can do that with opportunities, as I said, with the testimonials and stories of your team members or someone in the company or even outside the company. Hello, Kelsey. So that's one thing you know uh showing up every single day with valuable content people are so afraid that they're not expert at anything they don't know what to talk about it can be literally anything it doesn't always have to be something that you're offering you know we have quite wide range of products so i can talk to you hairdressers and well wellness and fitness people and you know, weight loss and digital nomads, people who want to travel. I can have so many varieties, but not every company actually has that. We have programs for parents to grow super kids, so it's quite fun. But you can pretty much base that branding on any passion, any interest that you have. You can base it even on location. It really doesn't matter what you want to present, something that you know. And honestly, it can be anything that you have been through in your life, your story, because that's what matters. It's something that people can relate to. If you have a hobby or a passion, something that you really love, you can bet in on that and find communities that have the same kind of passions because once you actually have those connections and relationships built with those people, that's all that matters because what do you do always comes into that conversation. So you can share what you do and you can share the business opportunity, for example, in that conversation afterwards. It doesn't always have to be with the branding. The reason why I do social media and online marketing and affiliate and network marketing content is because that's my niche, that's my expertise. And I, I have uh, been in online marketing since 2008. So this is something that I'm extremely passionate about and that's why I can talk about it all the time in any piece of content that I do. So that's my passion. It doesn't mean that once you enter this home-based business world, that's what you have to talk about. Not at all, you, have, you can do whatever you want as long as it's comfortable for you and you want to hang around people that will be actually attracted to that kind of information. So I wouldn't really worry much about that in the beginning, especially because th this is a learning process. It's never, I'll, I'll enter and, and I'll be perfect. You will always learn. So, you know, once you learn the process, you try a few things, you can share your experience, how it went, what went wrong, what went well, and that is what's much more important than all, all those, you know, expert stuff. You know, I have to be pro, I have to look pro, I have to have great videos. As long as you have a window and smartphone, that's all you need. So, you know, lose those fears and just take that first step. Second thing that is very important in this process is treat every single person and conversation as a human being, as 
it would be in real life. So every person that you connect with on social media, you have to treat that person as if you've met them on the street. The reason for that is it's a human being. You know, if, if you go, I don't really, even though I have tried it, I have to admit I was one of those people. When you pitch strain and go for nose, it maybe worked a few years ago, but it no longer works, works because so many people are doing this today that everyone's tired of it and it just doesn't feel right. Copy and paste messages, that doesn't work for a long time. There are two reasons why I wouldn't recommend it. One is if there's actually someone that says, yes, I want to have a look and I want to try it because they're just not experienced, never been exposed and they're okay with that approach, you are actually teaching that approach to that person. You are showing them to share copy and paste messages to anyone, to masses. And if they have been approached that way, that's exactly what they feel they should be doing. So you're going to get a lot of very struggling team members that way. You don't want to, you don't want to share with the person a process that you don't want them to follow. And second, this is very not effective way. Maybe I would call it that way. Not effective for your time because if you have to communicate, let's say with 100 or 200, whatever time frame you have, actually build your business if you have to send out so many messages to actually have someone have a look at your presentation and when they do have a look you have to overcome tons of objections because that's exactly what will happen they don't know you they don't know the industry they don't know the products they have never seen you they don't trust you there's no relationship so you have to overcome so many worries and fears from that person which will come in a form of objections that it's going to be so much time spent to actually get some kind of sale and tra traction and movement going. So you want to be more effective. And the only way to do that is really focus rather on smaller amount of people that already know you, that trust you, they know what you're doing. They've been following for quite some time. They know that if you're saying this is good, it's going to be good. So you know, you want to be more focusing on smaller group of people that already know and already want what you have, right? So normal human being conversation. And what I mean by that is once that person actually opens up, that doesn't mean that you go and straight vomit all over them what you have to offer. If that person says, I don't like my job and I wish i always wish i started something of my own that doesn't mean oh i have a great opportunity you have to check this out it's amazing so many people are doing great and you just vomit the information all over them because you just turned into that sales mode and convincing that person to actually have a look at what you have to offer which puts you in very disadvantaged place Instead, you rather want to, you want to educate them, educate them on what you have and let them decide. It's amazing and they want to have a look. They have to do it. It's their decision, but you have to build up a little bit that expectation and that desire. They need to understand why it's so good and they have to actually go after you to get the information. So instead, ask more questions. Why haven't you started yet? What stopped you? What were you afraid about? If you start, if you already tried, what didn't work? Why did you quit? Like, you need to know more about their situation because all that will tell them that you care, that it's not about you, that it's about them, and that you can really help them. And it's gonna help you more with that posture and authority. Okay, if you're talking to someone who's already successful, maybe not even online, it can be traditional business, the posture is super important because you need to believe that you have that step-by-step -step roadmap, that you have that treasure map and you're gonna make it happen, whether that person joins or not. 
It's happening in a way, you know, are you in or are you out? That kind of posture. Without that, it's, it's not gonna be believable and um, you're gonna get, you're gonna have harder time with those objections and with actually people not disappearing. Having a look and, and really getting them to do the next step. Very important is follow up. You know, the fortune is in the follow up. I recommend always to do it before, the, with the invite, before you actually send anything. Because when that person is excited and they wanna see what's there, what is it that has solved that problem that you had and they have as well, at that moment when they agree to watch whatever you're sending them or have a call, whatever the process that you're following is, if they agree to do it now, if not, I would actually schedule a next time so you can have them present and you know they're watching it right now. So if they're present, they wanna watch it now, they wanna be ready really for the follow-up call right afterwards. That's like the best practice because the information is fresh and you can immediately, whatever maybe doubt or fear would be there, you can immediately react. So that's something I would recommend, having that follow-up immediately with the invite, and that's gonna help you a lot with those conversations and not people actually not responding. So you can immediately have people telling you what is it that they really liked about it, maybe what something, what their fears are, and you can immediately uh, react. So if you implement this in your conversations, I'm gonna guarantee you, you're gonna get so many more yeses whether it's cold market warm market or whatever the offer that you have is so better presentation better position for yourself posture authority and conversations through getting to really know that person first so i hope this were helpful if you want more tips on building your business what you can do better how to be more effective these tips I'm, I'm sharing in my Facebook group, how to become the next online star. I'm gonna put the link to the group below in the comments of this video. And I'm looking forward to talking to you in next video. Let me know what is maybe your main struggle in this process so I can help you in upcoming videos.